My husband and I recently got over COVID-19. It all started with John on Thursday, May 12, 2022, around 1 p.m., thinking it was acid reflux. Later on that night, he experienced a runny nose, cough, sore throat, and sneezing. He said it felt like a cold. Then on Friday, May 13th, <laughs> May th <laughs> Friday the 13th, <laughs> John experienced a sore throat and a mild cough. He took an at-home COVID test the next day on the 14th, and the test was positive, even though the positive line was very faint. It was confirmed by his doctor that it was indeed COVID-19. So here you see a couple of tests we took. Uh, the Binex Now cards and the Eye Health cards. They call these cards. <laughs> Uh, one test is positive and one test is negative on each of them. I have had a migraine headache on the 14th, 15th, and 16th. I took the at-home test and it was negative on the 15th, having no symptoms. On the night of May 16th, I began having a sore throat with a mild cough. The next day on May 17th, on Norwegian Constitution Day, I took another at-home COVID test and it was positive with a dark line and not a faint line. So both me and John had COVID. As soon as John was diagnosed for COVID, the doctor said he could have Paxlovid. I think that's how you pronounce it. P-A-X-L-O-V-I-D. He was on it for five days, three pills in the morning and three at night. His symptoms were mild and felt much better after one to two days taking it. I decided not to take it. I didn't feel my symptoms were bad enough for it and the pills are large. I mean for someone who even has trouble swallowing small pills it would be a nightmare if I had to get those down. <laughs> Horse pills. I was at my worst for two days on May 18th and 19th. The headache and sinus pain is what kept me in bed. All my lower teeth hurt with the sinus pain. Then on the 20th, I felt so much better. John's temperature went up to 102. My highest temperature was 101.4, and that's Fahrenheit. Both our temperatures were higher the night of having the booster vaccine. That was when my temperature reached 102.5. We also experienced intermittent blurred vision while having COVID. On May 20th, that's when I had consistent normal temperature readings. I was able to remain out of bed for most of the day. I took another at-home test on May 20th, but it was still positive. I took another at-home test on May 23rd, and it showed negative. Today is Tuesday, May 24th, and both John and I still have some brain fog and fatigue. It was difficult for me to clean the house today as I had to take a break more often. I've heard those symptoms can linger for a while and hopefully will go away real soon. I have another song ready for recording and hopefully this fatigue will not delay it. I'm still planning out the movie that I'll be working on soon. Bye for now.